It was here in the 400 block of the South Industrial Drive that around 10.40 last night, a police-involved shooting left a man dead. For most of this morning, one of the busiest roads in the city was blocked off by a bunch of police cars until the nearby casino. Business owners and residents say this is the first time they have seen something like this. That's the first time the whole street's been shut down. Um, as long as I can remember anyways. Oh well, yeah, there was a bit of... A little bit of anxiety with that. We had to cancel a full slate of surgeries and, and uh, re make new appointments for the people that were inconvenienced with what went on. But, you know, those are minor things I would like to add. And, you know, our heart goes out for the person that lost their life and also the poor police officer that was involved in the altercation. Police say the shooting happened during an interaction with the police, that there was a confrontation with a man before the gun was fired but the police won't say whether an officer shot him, how old he was, or who fired the gun. In a press conference, the police chief said he cannot confirm whether the man was armed either. The chief says it was the fourth officer involved fatal shooting in the history of the police service. No police officer ever wakes up, puts on the uniform, and wants to be faced with the most difficult decision that we will ever have to make as a police officer. In the last 30 years, we have experienced three other officer-involved shootings, the last uh, being in 2013. All recommendations from each inquest have been implemented. The chief says he cannot comment on the specifics of the case as it's under investigation by the newly formed civilian-led police oversight agency. The Saskatchewan Serious Incident Response Team, known as CERT, only came into force at the start of this year. The police chief says its response was quick and he is thankful for an independent investigation. Pratyush Tyal, CBC News, Prince Albert.